I just want my justice that I'm not fake. I loved her truly. We loved truly. As soon as she rejected me, it is not it is not acceptable. It is unacceptable. If the parents came to know about relationship genuine, will the parents get married to me now itself? Uh, my name is Prem Kant, uh, coming from India, Tamil Nadu state. Yeah, my district is Rani Pet district. I came from Rani Pet district. It's a city. My profession is working, and I'm an entrepreneur also, and also I'm a dancer, and also I'm taking badminton coach also. Yeah, that's okay. I'm an engineer. I uh, my background is electronics and communication. I came here uh, Bangladesh to meet my girlfriend, uh, who is there in Barishal uh, city. Uh, she was studying in Barishal Mohila College. She wanted me to uh, meet for the first time. So I just uh, came with so much of excitement and she is also having much excitement to, to see me. So that is the point I just came here in Bangladesh. Uh, after uh, reaching uh, Barishal city, uh, we wanted to meet each other on the next day. Uh, like uh, July 25th, uh, we met each other in front of our college campus. So after meeting our first time visit, uh, she uh, again meet me on uh, same date uh, around 2 p.m. in my hotel arena. After meeting uh, uh, in the arena hotel, uh, she came along with her friends and we met an, at a Handikare uh, restaurant. After meeting uh, in Handikare restaurant, we had some lunch and we are talking and we are exposing and we have just exposed uh, each other. And before that uh, meeting, her in Andikarai, she also uh, wanted me to stay in an, an arena hotel only and also she also come along to my room and we are talk each other and after that only we went uh, on the Andikarai restaurant we have some lunch and also we share some pictures we took some pictures in Andikarai and I have the pictures also and after taking the pictures in a uh, restaurant we gone to the rooftop and also we spoke uh, many things uh, like what we are going through and how well we are going through and uh, we discuss about uh, future also. Today I went to Bargana Taltali uh, with the help of friends, with journalists, uh, and we went along. Uh, it was very hard uh, to reach there, and even though I just managed uh, to reach uh, Taltali, and I was waited uh, for a very long time, and I was uh, motivated myself to meet a family. Uh, perhaps I, I never know the, that place, and even though I just tried my level best to meet my girlfriend, and also to meet my fa family, but I couldn't make through. They refused, they denied uh, my proposal to meet them. Uh, with the help of the chairman Upazila, who is there and uh, having some power, so he uh, suggested uh, them to communicate. But uh, no other response and no other uh, proper recognition for me, even though I just tried with proper channel, with proper way of communicating our family. But I was denied and I was rejected. She is the one knows everything about me. She is the one everything knows about my family. She is the one everything knows about my activity, what I'm going through, what I'm, uh, what I'm uh, doing my activities. Everything under she is know. In when I come to Bangladesh, so after meeting them, everything was going smoothly. It was smooth, smooth and easy. But even though I met her, we met her, and we exposed and we have expressed each other. Then why she is denying, I don't know. It's a kind of cheating. It's a kind of cheating. It's absolute cheating. I don't understand. It was wandering for me also. After reaching there, I was waiting for a long time uh, to meet them. But I, uh, I could not make through as I already told you. Then afterwards, a person came uh, representing uh, him as a police. And he just spoke to me like he just wanted me and insisted me. And he was deliberately forcing me to get back to my country. I am ready to go get back to my country but until or unless I meet my girlfriend and meet my girlfriend's family it is not there is no point of going back to my country because I was treated entirely from that side even that relationship they are saying it's a fake it is pointless it is serious it is seriously pointless because I have the proper evidence by showing evidence by showing photo by showing videos it doesn't matter even I know that but that complete for a fake allegation is absolute it's not at all acceptable. It's unacceptable because we have gone through three years of relationship. It's not, uh, it's not humbug. It's not a humbug relationship because we have gone through three years of relationship. We know each other. We know each other's family. Even she spoke to my mom. She even she spoke to my mom and have the evidence for that also. If if media person or if anybody wants that exact evidence, I just deliberately I will I will be ready to give. It is, it is not that I am going to hide anything, I am not, I'm I'm not run away from here. It is absolute that we are having proper relationship.
then why should I fake? Then why should I hide? Then why should I get away from this country? Even I have the proper passport, proper visa. I have just got everything detailed. I was, I've been staying here. I didn't even misbehave to anyone. I didn't even make any quarrel. I didn't uh, uh, pay, betray her. I didn't even give up on my girlfriend. I didn't even belittle my girl. Then why should I fear? Then why should I just came for love? The point is actually people are saying that she is underage. The one thing I should able to deliver at this time that like even though she is underage, it doesn't mean she is able to capable of cheating someone. She cannot play with someone emotion. I she was cheated. She, I was I was totally dismantled, totally totally detached, totally dejected because. I am not here to marry her right now itself because she is underage. I know that. That doesn't mean that I am going to marry her now itself. She asked me to say that, Prem, if you wait for another one of year, one of yours, then you come along with your parents legally, then come and talk to my parents. Like that, that was our last conversation. That was our last conversation. It doesn't mean that I am going to talk her, I am going to trigger her, I am going to convey information, convey past information to her family. It doesn't mean that I am going to marry her. So people are people should not say that she is underage, she is underage, she is underage. It doesn't mean like that. I just want her to convey, I just want her to see her. I just want her to meet each other physically for the first time. So uh, it was unfortunately we got the opportunity, I got opportunity to meet her three times. It was, it was genuine, it was acceptable. Without her knowledge, why should I come? Without her acceptance, why should I come? Without her concern, why should I come? Until and unless she, they came to know about me, they came to know about my family, they came to know about myself, they came to know about traditional, my traditional. I am a, I'm, I'm a uh, boy from a traditional family, from a traditional state. Even though she knows everything, she might have, she could have said to her parents, all fake relationship between us, uh, it's a, it, it's a total fake. It's totally fake. Even I have the proof also. We have gone through three years of relationship, genuine relationship. She is genuine that time. She was genuine. To be frank, I'm saying she was totally genuine. Uh, and she has fear of her parents. Like, how could uh, her parents can able to accept me? Because I'm a long distance guy. I'm from another country. It's long distance is nothing matter that I could come here and I, I can take her from um, Bangladesh. It doesn't mean like that. I just wanted to come here to visit and also her allegation is totally fake like I have proper evidence of having relationship even though we do whatsapp calls, we do facebook messenger calls and we share each other. How come they claim that it is a fake relationship? I have the proper evidence of our invitation. She only wanted me to meet. She only concerned about me from Chennai to Dhaka. After reaching Dhaka, she concerned about and she rooted me. Everything I have. She rooted me from Dhaka to Barishal. After, after reaching the Barishal, I have the evidence of she concerned about me where I should stay. Where I should stay, in which hotel I should stay. She has decided everything and also she decided that after staying at Arena Hotel, it is comfortable for her to meet me because it is a shorter distance from her Barishal Moila College to Arena Hotel. Am I clear? So this is the, the, these are all evidence I have. Them, uh, like I have given a complaint, black and white complaint in airport police station Tana. I have given a complaint, proper complaint, but police has, hasn't taken any action. They are, instead of that, they are threatening me. Like they will also file a case against me. Then what can I do? Then what can I do? How come I know? This is Bangladesh system, I don't know really. After beating from someone guy in Kashipur Chaumada, I was deliberately taken to the police station with my friends, with my local journalist persons. I don't want to reveal the names. They taken me to police station, they guided me to give a GD. I don't even know the name GD also. After then, I came to know it's a gender diary. I was taken to the airport police station, Tana. They took me around for three days for I was held up there. I was asking each and every day, like, sir, will you take action against the boy who beat me? And will you take against the, my girl who is taken uh, against, my, against the cheating purpose? Even though the police said that not even taken action, they have convinced me that her parents will come like that. Her parents will come. Day to day, they were just moved out that day. It was happened. Even I didn't know where to go, how to go, whom to meet. I was held up there. I was trapped there. They are not letting me to go. Then how come I take action? After a free from of that, that place, they wanted me a consent letter from me. 